Vibranium, as we know, is the source of the Black Panther's power. Vibranium is not a real element. Maybe we haven't discovered it yet, who knows? The Captain America shield is made out of the same element. The Black Panther uses it not only as a defensive weapon like a shield, but also as an offensive weapon. Now, how does he do that? Well, the suit itself is made from a particular micro mesh weave of vibranium. Think about alloys or elements that we would compare to. You want something with a high tensile strength to weight ratio, something that's really strong but really light. And when you think of that, you think of aluminum. And then you want something that's durable and something that can withstand corrosion. And that would be titanium. Maybe it's a titanium aluminum alloy that has elements of Kevlar. This is a real technology. Even here in the lab, Industrial Systems Engineering at NC State, we have a virtual reality set up, but most of the time people are wearing goggles in order to help project the image that they are seeing. The Komodo Bees just takes it a step further so that the holographic image is in real 3D space, which is a realistic application moving forward. We're just not there yet scientifically. I really like the idea of having a superhero that also appeals to students of color that are interested in science and technology. 